I said worse one, what I meant by that was none. Jesus Christ, whoever thought to make this a platformer is fucking insane! Right then, boy howdy do I have a treat for you, you've seen it, Doki Doki Literature Club in this game, why? Because apparently, God wrought upon us another bloody epidemic. You got Sayori with depression, you got Natsuki with cute cupcake, and you know, family abuse, Monica with, um, you know, her life-bending alterations, and Yuri, with nothing wrong with her at all. Sayori, are you serious? Not your depression cloud, alright, you kinda got it going on there, but come on, you know what you need to give this goddamn character. I just looked in the bottom right and realized you already gave her the card of the hanged man, but hey, I, <laughs> I fi <laughs> figured this would, you know, so I'd rope you into this terrible jug, but here we are. If you thought I was above this one, I'm afraid I've got news for you. <laughs> This terrible sense of humor is going to be hanging around for the foreseeable future. Although, uh, Sayori doesn't really have one with her being, um, dead. Oh, I just noticed that's a transition screen. Oh, this game knows no bounds. And of course, you got, you know, the undefined here. You see, Monica? All you had to do was be uprooted from one game where you tormented the human player and a bunch of digital beings, and then be placed inside a completely different one to find your soulmate. He's as broken as you are. I mean, sure, he's a weird bearded corpse, but who cares? Get to know him, hang out. I, I, sorry, sorry, this is a poor choice word. Uh, chill, enjoy. Uh, you know, hopefully with any date, you won't be such a fucking monumental glitch. Oh, and I tried to play Yuri, and the game has stopped working. You know, I expected that to happen during the, uh, Monica. As it turns out, no. Yuri. That fucking makes me worry. Good that she's got the, the, the sacrificial dagger, uh, you know, going round her all the time. Makes sense. She always surrounded herself with the sharp objects in, in the story. That wasn't depressing at all. Although, can't help but wonder what would what happen if I actually gave her a knife of her own to actually use, you know. Properly. Oh dear God! Nope, never mind. Nope, fuck that. Nope, don't want it. Oh, she's still crazy. Ah, that's a restart. I gently opened the. God damn it! Yuri! Stop breaking my fucking game! The mod developer, when it comes to this character, you really need to make her just a bit more stable. I've just realized how fitting it is that the least stable character to play is Yuri! <laughs> okay, that's fucking depressing but funny. Okay. Move. <laughs> <laughs> that's really fucking... I mean, I don't know if that's a feature. If it is, I mean, you've got to laugh out of me. A real weird one, but you've got to laugh out of me. Curse of the Unknown. Uh, you, given how the game's been performing, I mean, hell, I've been cursed with that for the past ten minutes. Wait, you want to give me Daddy Long Legs? You're given Doki Doki, and the main character always putting his foot in his mouth. You know what? <laughs> that is a good way to start this. I definitely need a ball of bandages. It's getting quite painfully thematic with the items so far. It really is. <laughs> Why, why did you have to give me that one? You flipped a coin. Could have been Cuban meat, but nope. Girl with the self-harm ball of bandages. Is that a piece of glass? Are you giving her more and more things to- What is wrong with this game? In the words of Michael Jordan, dear game, Stop it. Get some help. But anyway, I figured I'd give her brimstone as a- you know, I'm just speaking from personal preference when I played the game. Always thought she was a bit of a hottie. Oh, camo shorts. For the invisible threat during Doki Doki of Monica. Constantly playing, uh, you, what you call it, goddamn puppet master behind the scenes. Yeah, that's what we really need. A reminder that she's still there. And by the way, I see you! Stop fading in! Stop that! This is not your game! Fuck off! Accuracy brings power? Dead eye. I'm pretty sure at one point her eye started to uh, weep violently with, with, with that of blood. Hey, you know what? We can work with that one. The stain? I've literally been referencing the pee stains on poems all day, and then you turn up. For goodness sake, alright, I'm already beating a dead horse and girl enough as it is. Put it away! Mother's knife! Huh. You know, I turned it down before, but I've got brimstone. And I haven't seen that synergy in forever. Fuck it, I regret nothing. I mean, let's be honest. H how could I- how could I turn down a storm of knives being this little bitch's goddamn weapon? How? No. 
Yuri does not do drugs. She's a troubled girl, but she's still a good girl at heart. She ain't doing that. She ain't touching none of that crap. What did I just say? Mushrooms still count. She's a good girl. Fuck it, I like that one. Never mind, I take it back. Yuri? Yuri? <laughs> Yuri on roids. That's a scary thought. Also, I've just realized, all things considered, as much as I do like this so far, the, the build, the brimstone knife thing, if we're being honest about it, I think that knife right there this is the wrong way around. I don't want to see it. I don't want to have to endure that scene again. But I think we all know that she wouldn't be firing that knife outwards. I'm sorry, is this a bunch of goddamn blocks that run into me and stab me and hurt me? Again, Yuri's wet dream. Hello, how you doing? It's a shame that none of you really bothered. Our depression has found its way to Yuri. I mean, let's be fair, all of the characters had it one way or another, but I don't think, uh, given her wonderful transformation to the crazy side of things, I think she's I think she's fine on this side of the fence, all right? It's either morbidly depressed or manically fucking murderous. I prefer that one, because I need to kill shit. Figured I might as well give her this little god damn gem. I mean, hey, we're going into boss rush. I don't mean to make a joke about a small girl. I've been a little sexually active here, but hey, I mean, that was where the story went. Might as well. And let's be honest, she was low-key, just a little bit horny and uh, fucked up and depraved. She pissed on things and gave it to people. What the fuck? Eat my butt. I said eat my butt. Don't kick it. God damn it. Those are two very distinctly different things. Oh, look at that. It's broken. Oh, look. Look what I've done. I'm a greedy boy. Everybody hate me, but I don't care. This was the inevitability one way or a goddamn another. I'd rather give it to myself this way instead of just de sixing things all day. <laughs> this, this is Bladestorm. This is Bladestorm done right, and I'm absolutely loving it. Have I mentioned the fact that I went from, even though they're probably going to be uploaded the wrong way around, so it's going to confuse the shit out of you, the fact that I went from a painful platforming mod that took my arsehole and folded it over my head and forced me to smell my own shit for an hour, and to this? Oh! Oh, it's just made me a smiling man. It's made me a happy chappy. I know I'm playing a goddamn character that's all linked to all the negative things of life, but hey. I'm still having fun with the game, all right? The, 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 the general source material can be a little bit, mm, I can watch Schindler's List and feel sad, but I'm still entertained by the end of it. I appreciated the three hours. Um, God damn it, you killed him. There was a little baby in the top left, and I think maybe even bottom right. Again, frozen. There are certain enemies on this floor, like the small babby, and the- and that dude, they're not working. I- I assume this is a, a prank by Monica to make it easier for me, because, you know, she's still stalking me, you see, she's probably, you know, she's really attached, and that's really not good, because she's in the computer. I can't get rid of the bit. STOP! You're fading in again. And you're literally having a conversation, and you're getting too close, and you're getting closer, alright? When someone files a restraining order, you don't move in! Ooh, that pencil. Uh, God damn it, I mean, I know Yuri's into it, but it's not doing my health any favors. Holy mantle in here, and it would kill me if I took it. <laughs> Actually, devil, I see your game, and I raise you a laugh. That's fucking clever. Guillotine! Uh, I know Yuri's into, uh, slashing prices, so to speak, but I'm... I'm pretty sure that's a little bit more final than what she had in mind. Ah, the virus. Uh, to, 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 to compliment. Her infectious smile. Oh, look. Another knife. Backstabber. I can't turn that one down. BFF? A bigger knife? <laughs> this game is fucking obsessed. This game needs to cut it out with these fucking jokes. Hello there, Mr. Hush. Uh, I know suffocation was your way of going in the last time, but, um... I, th I think death by probably more than a thousand cuts is the next one on the to-do list. I'd say I'm sorry, but before my cheating antics kicked up, you were the biggest pain in the ass. Hey, motherfucker! I went ahead and I just drank a little bit of a thing that I shouldn't. Any day you want to come up so you can experience it, enjoy your pickaxe blades, bitch! They're, basically, they just do more damage. It's now laced with poison. It's biological weaponry and warfare. It's a Walking Dead reference to the three people that still watch that pissing show. Cola Boma with this. Wait, hang on. Cola Boma just gives me more knives by the looks of it. Yeah, my. Hang on. Everything get out of the way. My normal knives split in three over and over again. <laughs> the ones in front of me. But. Huh. Alright then. I, never mind. Cola Boma does work with that. I am pleasantly surprised. Well, it's time. Dear Yuri, you've, you've had issues the entire time. You, you found symbolism in books that, that, were later, that were related to all these things. It's time for you to finally, literally, one for one, face your demon. The devil itself, Mega Satan. I mean, it's a little bit overzealous, a little bit over the top, a little bit crazy for the, for the idea of, of a small girl that, again, uh, makes contact with arm with other objects. 
to, to be dealing with this shit. To be just fucking thrust into the hell itself and fighting a big old mega Satan. Oh, when you deny her over and over and over and over and over and over, she makes the other characters involved do even weirder and more depraved and disgusting and fucked up things and makes them suffer as much as you. But any crazier things have happened, you know, like AI has taken over a game, rescripted it so that you fall in love with her. Oh, when you deny her over and over and over and over and over and over, she makes the other characters involved do even weirder and more depraved and disgusting and fucked up things and makes them suffer as much as you. So hey, I mean, in the long scheme of things, doesn't even really matter. If you ask Yuri to do this shit, given the life she's led, your response would be, okie dokie. <laughs> The video's over. You enjoyed it? You like it? Be sure to let me know by doing so. And feel free to comment down below. Let me know if you want to see me do more of this. I mean, there's other characters. Who knows? It's going to be updated in the future. And if you've got a mod that you want me to play, seriously, comment down below because I'm, I'm all for suggestions. So thank you very much for watching this show. And I hope you want to follow me on Twitter. Check out the merch in the description. Maybe sorry for the bup. And uh, three videos on screen. Watch one, watch your. Thank you for watching this one. Hopefully, I've convinced you to let me see you in the next one.